Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. <laughs> and I'm Trish and I'm not well, ready. Are we ready? I wasn't ready, no. Sorry, should we go again? Yes. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Hi, my name is Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Of course, Trish is dying to know. I am. Uh -huh. Hello, everybody. Hi, guys. How are you all? How's everybody out there? Hope they're keeping safe and well. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I hope everybody's looking well. after themselves. Yes, I hope everybody's trying to get back to a smidge normality as much as we can mm. these days. You know, yep. it's up and down, up and down, lockdown, open lockdown. Hi to everyone in Melbourne. Yeah, again in a lockdown, poor yeah. guys. Yeah. And we're here with Cal. We haven't yeah. been with Cal for a while. No, because we've been we've been on tour. Mm. <laughs> Sounds a lot more exciting than it was, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. to the mortuary. Yeah. Yeah, cool. How are you? I'm good. I'm yeah, really well, yeah, thanks. That's good. And you? I'm very well. Got a little cold sore blemish. You've got a cold sore, have you? Don't look, I'm going to sit this way today. Oh, do you want to sit this side? Should no, I'm swap? good. I'll just, I'll just do this. All right, we've got some questions. Focus? Let's get into these questions. Um, we've got one from Lucy. Hi, and Lucy. Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Lucy noticed on our Instagram that you posted a picture of the, was it Perspex or Glass Coffin? Oh, the glass. Glass Coffin. Oh, my Perspexy glass. Perspex. Yeah, yeah it is. plastic. Yeah. It is Perspex, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah, it is. And she just wanted to know a bit more about it. So oh, So she's yeah. just interested in the circumstances around it and, yeah. Um, yeah. If it, you know. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, that coffin, um, we don't uh, have them here in Australia. We had to source that one from America. So somebody particularly requested it? Yeah, we had a, um, a lady who's uh, who wanted her mum to go into and it was a mum's dream to to lay in the coffin like Snow White with the white air uh, with the rose in her hand as Snow White did and she wanted a Snow White coffin. Oh, okay. So we didn't have them um, here in Australia so we sourced it from America. Uh, but we had to jump through hoops to have it to actually have the coffin to use it. and allowed to have a service with a clear coffin. Right. So the rules and regulations here in Queensland uh, were that, yeah, we can have the clear coffin, but when the coffin is in the hearse, it must have a, a cover over it. So we had to put a white sheet over it because it can't go through the streets with the body on display in the coffin. Mm -hmm. um, so we import and she was um to be buried also so on the site of her burial the council actually constructed it was a bit a bit like you know when you have um roadworks happening and they put the yeah. the big like barrier barrier around with the sheets around mm -hmm. so the tarpaulins all around it so when we arrived they placed it um over the grave that nobody could see her mm -hmm. And we were told that um, once she was laid uh, underground that we'd have to put a sheet over the top of her again because they didn't want the grave diggers looking down as they filled the okay. grave in right. onto her, her body. Right. Yeah. Wow, so interesting. There was a lot of hoops to go through. I wonder through. had she of... have known all that when she was alive, if she would have gone through with it. Because, yeah, I yeah. mean, the whole idea would be to be on display. Yeah. It? yeah. And, and she could was really she cool. She was gorgeous. I mean, she was a little old lady and she was dressed in white and she was placed in the coffin and she looked gorgeous and she had a red rose in her hand. And, you know. Were there many at the funeral? No, there wasn't very many at the but funeral. But to see, to see yeah, her? Yeah, they've seen her, yeah. And obviously the funeral directors and the, uh, the few bit of family that's mm. seen her and everything. So, yeah, we can have these clear coffins, but obviously here in Queensland, Australia, I don't know if any other states are the same that when you're really not allowed to have it exposed out to anybody. Yeah. Just the privacy of the funeral service itself. Yeah, so, interesting. Yeah, so it was very interesting and... Um, yeah, it, I actually quite liked that uh, coffin. It was really cool. It was cool. It was, really it was, nice a, it was an unusual idea, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. 
Okay, next question. Yep. Thanks for that, Lucy, by Thanks, the way. Lucy, Thank, yeah. you. Thank you. Okay, so we've got one from MJ, and MJ says, is it normal for a corpse to move a little? Now, we've had similar questions before, but we'll just recap on this. Yeah. So MJ said, um, when MJ went to see a family member in the mortuary back in January, uh, they noticed her eyelids twitch and her bottom lip slightly moved. Um, and MJ said that they thought they were seeing things, but um, the family said that they saw the same thing. Have you seen anything like that while at work? MJ oh. asks. Okay. Um, I think I probably know what happened. Yeah. Uh, I've seen things like the lips move and the eyes move. Um, when you finish the prep and you lay them in the coffin. And sometimes when you finish the prep, it depends how you've done the preparation. Some people don't suture the mouth. Some people glue the lips. And sometimes they glue the eyes also, or maybe they don't put the eye caps in. Um, and maybe put use cream. Some people use just barrier cream because mm -hmm. that's you know, sticky enough, sticky yeah. enough to keep the eyes closed. And what sometimes happens is if you glue the lips. Now I don't glue the lips and the eyes. Very very rare in reconstruction. I will probably have to do mm -hmm. that. But in my normal everyday prep, I don't do that. I suture and put the eye caps in. Um, what happens sometimes is the glue starts to come away, uh, and then the so weight it just of the peels. Yeah, yeah, the weight of the actual because the head's back and all gravity takes place. Sometimes just the weight of that yeah. little bit pulls down, mm. so it does actually pull away. So it looks like the mouth stand open, and it's the same happens with the eye also. Uh, okay. So it looks like the eye is twitching because the glue oh, sometimes a, stop coming away. Creepy, isn't it? Yeah, and if um, if the eyes are dehydrated, in the skin shrunk a little bit, the glue might not be enough to hold it. Because there's tension. Starts, yeah, yeah, so it starts to pull uh -huh. up. There you go. So imagine that's what happened. Quite but, um, likely. Yeah, so nothing, I don't think it'll anything. I've never seen anything untowards ever happen. To nothing that, that you've not been able to explain. To explain, yes. But a good yeah. question. Thank you very much for that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, this is an interesting one. I oh. think this will be our last one for today. Yeah. Okay, so this one's from Kazzy. Hi, and Kazzy says, hello lovelies, I'm hello, your new lovely. pest on Instagram, you're hardly oh, a pest, we love you, thanks yeah. for coming and finding Thank us. Thank you. Um, and, um, Can Kazzy... you tell me how it works? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not even go there, please. <laughs> Let's not. Kazzy says, <laughs> I apologise if this question has been asked before, but here goes, do either of you believe in the afterlife? If so... And you don't mind sharing, could you tell us about your experiences? Thank you. Ah, what about you on that Interesting. One? Um, well, yes, I do believe, obviously, that something is there. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody, you know, has their own opinions on things. And mm -hmm. I um, have had a few occurrences in my life where mm -hmm. I've sensed people, entities, energy around. Yeah. Um, and I've had one specific incident years and years ago where I actually saw someone who we then later traced back to the local cemetery from an oh, old wow. house I was staying in. Really? Yeah. Wow. yeah. He was the farmer that had owned the house years before and wow. was then in the cemetery. Um, really cool. It was a, a quite a historical figure in the town, yeah. little country town. Yeah. And I had seen him when I went to visit my girlfriend and I was sleeping on a mattress on the floor. And her and her husband and their mm -hmm. little bubby were in bed. Uh -huh. And uh, I woke up in the middle of the night and just knew he was sitting there at my yeah. head of my you bed. You weren't afraid or anything? I was petrified you when were. I first woke up. Yep, uh -huh. I was absolutely petrified. And I actually pulled the blankets up like this and I broke into a cold sweat. And I remember it vividly. And then I just remember that I never turned my head and looked at him, but I knew exactly what he was wearing and I knew exactly how he was looking. And he was sitting forward, his hands on his knees like this. Oops. Oh, Cal. Here we go. <laughs> hands on his knees like, like this, like sort of old-fashioned photo yeah. style. Yeah. And he was wearing sort of bib and brace and a hat like a farmer who's yeah. going into town for the day, yeah. back in the day. Wow. Um, and, um, and I calmed myself when I was so panicked under my blankies. And took the blankets down and just suddenly relaxed and thought, well, he's not going to hurt me. He's just there. And somehow I drifted off to sleep and didn't worry about it after that. Yeah. So it was a little moment of panic and then it was fine. 
But yeah, yeah I've had a few things like people passing yeah. me in hallways and you know, I mean, it's happened to us running too where you go, oh, sorry, and there's nobody there. Yeah, a few that sort of stuff. Times. You just, yeah. yeah. But yeah. definitely, I definitely think so. Yeah, me too. I've had a few as well. But yeah, I, it, and, and my mum always said to me, it's not the dead you should be afraid of, it's the living. Living so, minded too. Yeah, yes. so it was always, you know, even though you get that scare first, you know they're not going to harm you. Yeah. No. So yeah, but uh, yeah, I've had a few. Um, my mum told me about an out-of-body experience she had, so I kind of believe there might be something out there because she had one because she died on an operating table, but she came back and she seen she was up there looking around and looking down wow. at all of the uh, staff trying to get her back doing resuscitation and uh, getting the, the hot you know, yeah, paddles on and everything like that, and that was in the 70s, mm. you know, and she, uh, she died on the table, but, you know, she came back and she... She always told me about that story where yeah. she she was up there and she said there was a light behind her but she didn't look at it. She went she knew she had four daughters at home that needed looking after so she never looked. So there's something there. Yeah. Something, you know. So whether or not we don't know, but don't be scared, don't be afraid of them. You don't have a lot of stuff going on like that at work. Like no. you have the odd thing, the odd thing but nothing yeah. nothing no. regular. And I mean no. you've got a fridge full of people most of the time, mm. haven't you? Yeah, all the time and mm. I don't you know, it's no it's very rare so yeah but yeah the other things so yeah good question yeah I'm thanks sure for that some, yeah i'm sure there's something out there something's there it'd be interesting to know what you guys think about that yeah absolutely. and um yeah. and if anyone's had any experiences mm -hmm. um write it in the comments below and let yeah. us all know yeah and if you're on instagram well, i'm really crap at it but there i'll try and <laughs> <laughs> i have worked out how to look at the um Comments. Comments yeah. now, and I think I can reply. Look, Look out. out. Look, Look out. out. Let her loose. So, hey, till next time. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.